Many Christians participate in small groups of one form or another, but as you're evaluating what small group to be involved in, how can you tell when a small group is really excellent? Let's take a look at three factors that make small groups great. First of all, a great small group is a place to share the right truth at the right time. Some groups do Bible study really well and other groups do fellowship really well. The Bible tells us that both truth and relationships are vitally important to a great group. Ephesians 4 talks about speaking the truth in love. But a great group isn't gonna just share the truth broadly, that it's really going to learn how to direct the truth skillfully to each person's unique situation. So a group leader is going to assess or evaluate what's going on in the lives of group members and how they're progressing in their pursuit of God in order to share the right truth that really needs to be heard at the right time. So that's the first thing about great small groups, sharing the right truth at the right time. The second factor that we're gonna learn is that a great small group is a vehicle to train disciples to make other disciples. Many groups enjoy great Bible study and great fellowship, but they don't really have any sense of direction or purpose. But in a great group, it's really all about helping people, releasing people, equipping people to make disciples. So maturing Christians are people who will help other people pursue God. And so in a good group, it's going to model how to do that and provide some simple resources and methods that people can use to succeed in multiplying their lives and the lives of others. And then maturing groups also multiply themselves by creating new groups. And so the leader of the group is not just a teacher or even a discussion facilitator, but a leader of a great small group is intentional about giving ministry away so that others can do everything that he or she knows how to do. And if you come to a group and it's really not interested in developing new leaders or in reproducing new groups, that's really a group that's probably not worth attending. Now there's one third factor that makes a group a great small group, and that is if it's part of an integrated discipleship system. The best groups are connected with the overall ministry of their church so that everybody's working together to make disciples. And then great groups also help bridge the gap from the Sunday sermon into everyday life so that people have an opportunity to process and to apply the truth that they've heard. And then great groups have leaders who operate as part of a team so that they can be coached and strengthened and encouraged to help them succeed. This is the kind of group that we want you to be in, that we want you to look for, that we want you to help lead a group where the right truth is shared at the right time, where disciples are trained to make other disciples, where it functions as part of a whole integrated discipleship system. That makes for a great group.